Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In thermodynamics, an apparent molar property of a solution component in a mixture or solution is a quantity defined with the purpose of isolating the contribution of each component to the non-ideality of the mixture. It shows the change in the corresponding solution property, for example, volume, per mole of that component added, when all of that component is added to. The solution. It is described as apparent because it appears to represent the molar property of that component in solution, provided that the properties of the other solution components are assumed to remain constant during the addition. However, this assumption is often not justified, since the values of apparent molar properties of a component may be quite different from its molar properties in the pure state. For instance, the volume of a solution containing two components identified as solvent and solute is given by V equals V0 plus 5V1 equals V0 and 0 plus 5V1 and 1, where V0 is the volume of the pure solvent before adding the solute and V0 its molar volume at the same temperature and pressure as the solution. N0 is the number of moles of solvent. 5V1 is the apparent molar volume of the solute and N1 is the number of moles of the solute in the solution. By dividing this relation to the molar amount of one component, a relation between the apparent molar property of a component and the mixing ratio of components can be obtained. This equation serves as the definition of 5V1. The first term is equal to the volume of the same quantity of solvent with no solute, and the second term is the change of volume on addition of the solute. 5V1 may then be considered as the molar volume of the solute if it is assumed that the molar volume of the solvent is unchanged by the addition of solute. However, this assumption must often be considered unrealistic as shown in the examples below, so that 5V1 is described only as an apparent value. An apparent molar quantity can be similarly defined for the component identified as solvent 5V0. Some authors have reported apparent molar volumes of both liquid components of the same solution. This procedure can be extended to ternary and multi-component mixtures. Apparent quantities can also be expressed using mass instead of number of moles. This expression produces apparent specific quantities, like the apparent specific volume. V equals V0 plus 5V1 equals V0 M0 plus 5V1M1, where the specific quantities are denoted with small letters. Apparent, molar, properties are not constants, even at a given temperature, but are functions of the composition. At infinite dilution, an apparent molar property and the corresponding partial molar property become equal. Some apparent molar properties that are commonly used are apparent molar enthalpy, apparent molar heat capacity, and apparent molar volume. Relation to molality, the apparent molal volume of a solute could be expressed as a function of the molality B of that solute and of the densities of the solution and solvent. The volume of solution per mole of solute is 1 rho, 1B plus M1, subtracting the volume of pure solvent. Per mole of solute gives the apparent molal volume. 5V1 equals V minus V0 and 1 equals M rho minus M0 rho 0 0. 1N1 equals M1 plus M0, rho minus M0, rho 0, 0. 1N1 equals M0, rho minus M0, rho 0, 0. 1N1 plus M1, rho N, 1, 5V1 equals 1B. 1 rho minus 1, rho 0, 0, plus M1, rho. Four more solutes, the above equality is modified with the mean molar mass of the solutes, as if they were a single solute with molality BT. 5E12 equals 1 BT, 1 rho minus 1 rho 0 0, plus M rho, M equals sigma, Y I M, I the sum of products molalities. Apparent molar volumes of solutes in their binary solutions equals the product. Between the sum of molalities of solutes and apparent molar volume in ternary of multi-component solution mentioned above. 5 V 123, B 1 plus B 2 plus B 3 plus equals B1 5V1 plus B2 5V2 plus B3 5V3 plus. Relation to mixing ratio, a relation between the apparent molar of a component of a mixture and molar mixing ratio can be obtained by dividing the definition relation V equals V0 plus 5V1 equals V0 and 0 plus 5V1 and 1 to the number of moles of one component. 
This gives the following relation. 5v1 equals v in 1 minus v0 in 0 in 1 equals v in 1 minus v0 are 0, 1. Relation to partial molar quantities note the contrasting definitions between partial molar quantity and apparent molar quantity. In the case of partial molar volumes v0, v1, defined by partial derivatives v0 equals del v del n0, t, p, n1, v1 equals del v del n1, t, p, n0. One can write dv equals v0, dn0 plus v, 1 dn1. And so v equals v0, n0 plus v1, n1 always holds. In contrast, in the definition of apparent molar volume, the molar volume of the pure solvent, V0, is used instead, which can be written as V0 equals del V del N0 T P N1 equals 0 4. Comparison. In other words, we assume that the volume of the solvent does not change, and we use the partial molar volume where the number of moles of the solute is exactly 0, the molar volume. Thus, in the defining expression for apparent molar volume 5V1, V equals V0 plus 5V1 equals V0 and 0 plus 5V1 and 1. The term V0 is attributed to the pure solvent, while the leftover excess volume, 5V1, is considered to originate from the solute. At high dilution with N0 much greater than N1 is almost equal to 0. We have V0 is almost equal to V0, and so the apparent molar volume and partial molar volume of the solute also converge. 5V1 is almost equal to V1. Quantitatively, the relation between partial molar properties and the apparent ones can be derived from the definition of the apparent quantities and of the molality. Photovolume. V1 równo vpk1 plus vpk1. Relation to the activity coefficient of an electrolyte and its solvation shell number the ratio RA between the apparent molar volume of a dissolved electrolyte in a concentrated solution and the molar volume of the solvent, water can be linked to the statistical component of the activity coefficient gamma s of the electrolyte and its solvation shell number h. ln gamma s equals h minus nu nu ln. 1 plus bra 55.5 minus h nu ln 1 minus bra. But it's out piet piet plus b r a plus ha. 55.5, 1 plus b ra 55.5, where nu is the number of ions due to dissociation of the electrolyte, and B is the molality, as above. Examples electrolytes the apparent molar volume of salt is usually less than the molar volume of the solid salt. For instance, solid in ACL has a volume of 27 cubic centimeters per mole, but the apparent molar volume at low concentrations is only 16.6 cubic centimeters per mole. In fact, some aqueous electrolytes have negative apparent molar volumes. NaOH minus 6.7, LiOH minus 6.0, and Na2CO3 minus 6.7 cm3 slash mole. This means that their solutions in a given amount of water have a smaller volume than the same amount of pure water. The effect is small, however. The physical reason is that nearby water molecules are strongly attracted to the ions so that they occupy less space. Alcohol, another example of the apparent molar volume of the second component, is less than its molar volume as a pure substance, is the case of ethanol and water. For example, at 20 mass percents ethanol, the solution has a volume of 1.0326 liters per kg at 20 degrees Celsius, while pure water is 1.0018 L slash kg, 1.0018 cubic centimeters per g. The apparent volume of the added ethanol is 1.0326 L, 0.8 kilograms x 1.0018 L slash kg equals 0.2317 L. The number of moles of ethanol is 0.2 kilograms slash 0.04607 kilograms per mole equals 4.341 moles so that the apparent molar volume is 0.2317 L slash 4.341 moles equals 0.0532 L slash mole equals 53.2 cubic centimeters per mole, 1.16 cubic centimeters per G. However, pure ethanol has a molar volume at this temperature of 58.4 cubic centimeters per mole, 1.27 cubic centimeters per G. If the solution were ideal, 
its volume would be the sum of the unmixed. Components. The volume of 0.2 kg pure ethanol is 0.2 kg x 1.27 L slash kg equals 0.254 L, and the volume of 0.8 kg pure water is 0.8 kg x 1.0018 L slash kg equals 0.80144 L. So the ideal solution volume would be 0.254 L plus 0.80144 L equals 1.0. 55L. The non-ideality of the solution is reflected by a slight decrease, roughly 2.2%, 1.0326 rather than 1.055 L slash kg, in the volume of the combined system upon mixing. As the percent ethanol goes up toward 100%, the apparent molar volume rises to the molar volume of pure ethanol. Electrolyte, non-electrolyte systems apparent quantities can underline interactions in electrolyte. Non-electrolyte systems which show interactions like salting in and salting out, but also give insights in ion-ion interactions, especially by their dependence on temperature. Multi-component mixtures or solutions for multi-component solutions. Apparent molar properties can be defined in several ways. For the volume of a ternary three-component solution with one solvent and two solutes as an example, there would still be only one equation. V equals V0 and 0 plus 5V1N1 plus 5V2N2, which is insufficient to determine the two apparent volumes. This is in contrast to partial molar properties, which are well-defined intensive properties of the materials and therefore unambiguously defined in multi-component systems. For example, partial molar volume is defined for each component I as VI equals del V slash del NI T P Nj is not equal to I. One description of ternary aqueous solutions considers only the weighted mean apparent molar volume of the solutes, defined as 5V N1 N2 equals 5V12 equals V minus V0 N1 plus N2, where V is the solution volume and V0 the volume of pure water. This method can be extended for mixtures with more than three components. 5V N1 N2, N3, equals 5V123, equals V minus V0, N1 plus, N2 plus, N3 plus. The sum of products molalities, apparent molar volumes of solutes in their binary solutions, equals the product between the sum of molalities of solutes and apparent molar volume in ternary of multi-component solution. Mentioned above, 5V123. B1 plus B2 plus B3 plus equals B15 V1 plus B25 V2 plus B35 V3 plus. Another method is to treat the ternary system as pseudo-binary and define the apparent molar volume of each solute with reference to a binary system containing both other components, water and the other solute. The apparent molar volumes of each of the two solutes are then 5V1 equals V minus V, SOL VENT plus SOLUTE2, N1, and 5V2 equals V minus V, SOL VENT plus SOLUTE1, and 2 the apparent molar volume of the solvent is 5V0 equals V minus V, SOLUTE1 plus SOLUTE2, N0, however. This is an unsatisfactory description of volumetric properties. The apparent molar volume of two components or solutes considered as one pseudocomponent 5V12 or 5VIJ is not to be confused with volumes of partial binary mixtures with one common component VIJ, VJK, which mixed in a certain mixing ratio form a certain ternary mixture V or VIJ. Of course, the complement volume of a component in respect to other components of the mixture can be defined as a difference between the volume of the mixture and the volume of a binary submixture of a given composition like CV2 equals V minus V01 and 2. There are situations when there is no rigorous way to define which is solvent and which is solute like in the case of liquid mixtures, say water and ethanol, that can dissolve or not a solid like sugar or salt. In these cases, apparent molar properties can and must be ascribed to all components of the mixture.